Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this episode, I don't think we're going to do much expanding again. I think we're going to sort of take a step back and refine some of these lines that are coming to and from the cargo hub. Just because we've added a lot recently, we've added the fuel uh, lines in, we've connected to two or three more cities, and we've overall increased the production a lot of these factories so i just want to make sure that everything we're doing is balancing out and still making us a lot of money so the first thing i want to look at is some of the trains we have on these lines now that we recently brought in fuel some of these train lines are connected to cities that also need fuel such as toledo and mesquite and I think there might have been one more. I'm not too sure where. But what I want to do is make sure that the balance of all of those are correct. For example, this train does have everything, but we want to make sure that it's balanced enough to where it's carrying enough of everything. Which, this is far from a full load. If we check the finances, sometimes it does make us a lot of money. And sometimes it does not. So we'll want to come over here. And make sure... It's able to get rid of all these in time. And just double check these numbers. Which, there's definitely still room to grow. Especially with fuel being the highest demand right now. So even though this train didn't leave with too much fuel and other materials, at least for the fuel end of it, it should be carrying a lot more. And that might just have to do with how much fuel is being brought in. Because I believe we only have about 20 cars going from here all the way over to the cargo hub. So if we come back over here, we've given it some time. And we can see it has upgraded to, I believe it's currently on level 3. And if we look, it looks like a lot of these trucks are carrying full or almost full loads. I'm not too sure how to get these numbers up more. We might just need more trucks so that they come more frequently. But well, we can see we have 26 fuel waiting for Toledo. And I feel like that might want to be a little bit higher. But we'll let that go and see if that sorts itself out. I believe this is still sort of optimizing itself and getting settled in. However, over here, if we take a look at this station, or this uh, harbor, we have tons of food and tools waiting to get shipped to Mesquite. And this, I think, is just simply due to lack of capacity. And we've had these boats for a while, and I believe we've definitely unlocked some bigger ones, as we can see here. 220 compared to the 210 so we can just replace these two boats and get double the capacity we will have to keep an eye down here and make sure that the trucks can handle this increased load but hopefully we'll start to see these harbors start to even out on how much it's holding so if we look at this train that just came into Toledo we can see that it is pretty full on all of its cars. It has maybe only like five or six cars that aren't fully loaded. And that's on the end of resources where it doesn't really need that much. Because I, I believe Toledo does not need many construction materials right now and food. Which is probably why it's not filling up yet. The next line we need to improve, however and this one might be a little tougher, is the clear water line. As we can see, it can bring in food, fuel, 
and tools. And right now, I believe our train, I believe down here, only carries food and tools. So we will want to come down here and manage this vehicle. And we're gonna wanna add in some fuel cars. All right, so after thinking about this for a while, I think the train we're gonna replace it with is going to be this train here, the Marquette 284 Class N1. We're gonna put two of those in the front, similar to how we did in the old train. We've added six fuel cars, and then we have 12 box cars to split the food and the tools. So hopefully this train works. If we look here, it should be able to get up to top speed on pretty much any slope eventually. We might need to add a second one of these just because of how infrequent the line might come, but we will have to sort of reevaluate in a little bit when we see how much it really needs. So here we can see the train coming. It's a very long train. It's uh, quite long. I think it'll just fit into the, it'll probably be a little bit longer than the station, but this is a really nice train and I, I really like it, especially using trains this long is really fun to see. So let's check in with Clearwater. And it definitely looks like it could be bringing more stuff in. So what we're going to want to do is probably duplicate the train. And we'll it's probably going to come out of this train depot, so we'll, we'll just have to wait so that they space themselves out. But in the meantime, what we can do is come to this clear water fuel line. And we can get rid of this since we'll now be bringing it in by train. Let me come in here, manage the line, and just delete that line. So, oh boy. Traffic is really bad. This is going to be something we need to sort out. So I'm not too sure why this traffic is so bad. I'm not sure if it was the trucks or if it's just waiting for this stoplight here. I think we're going to upgrade the road, which I guess it could be due for. And this is probably a major road leaving one of our largest cities, so it might be worth upgrading the lanes there. This way it also gives the traffic an option to either go left or right, which will help sort it out a lot more. And it'll probably give it more time to get all the traffic through. So we'll give that time. Hopefully it'll sort itself out. I don't want to really have to come back and rework this whole intersection just for traffic. But we might have to do that. So we'll come back later and make sure that everything's okay here. So hopefully since we now have our fuel coming from the cargo hub, the shipment numbers here will start to update as uh, the train goes back and forth and it sort of makes its way back to the fuel refinery. Hopefully that'll all upgrade. And we might even need to bring in this fuel refinery if the numbers are high enough. Okay, so it appears we've made our train just a little bit too long. We can see up here in our warnings, this train doesn't have a path. And that's because if we look right at the end of this box car here, it's stuck on this change here. That's not the end of the world, 
but unfortunately that does put a limit sort of on how long our trains can be at the moment. I wouldn't be opposed to increasing the platform length in the future, but for now I think a simple solution is just to do something like this if it'll let us do it on the corner, which it does, so we can just place these signals back there and get rid of these. Whoops. So this will allow for longer trains now that we've moved to that uh, switching point farther back. So if we hit play now, we stop it and start it again. It looks like it is working. Now the train's able to flip around just fine. We can see it's not carrying any fuel right now, but I think that's just because it hasn't really updated its trip since it hasn't made it back to clear water yet. So I mean, even with all the boxcars we have on it, it's still running very full. So I think it's pretty safe to say we're going to need to duplicate this train once it gets back up to where the depot is now, we can clone it and send it off on its way again. All right, so this train just passed the depot and we'll come in here, manage vehicle and clone selected vehicle. So if I'm correct, it's either going to come out down here, which it looks like it is, and that's okay, because by the time this train up here gets to clear water, this one will have fully exited and be on its way. So one thing I've noticed over here is we're having a lot of truck traffic getting into this truck stop. So unfortunately, I think we're going to have to delete this and rework how we have all of it. So we'll pause and delete this. We'll come in here, grab a truck station, and we'll put three platforms on the right. We'll make them pretty long. And what we're going to want to do is something like this. So this way we can get basically one-way traffic flowing through here, or we'll bring the traffic in on this side and then out on this side. And hopefully there won't really be much of a stop issue or anything like that with the one-way streets. So we just have to click on here and hit configure, delete this road, put in a station entrance and a station exit. We'll want to add some cargo buildings since this will be getting a lot. Just like that. And then we can find our one-way roads and, and connect them up here. So hopefully a lot of these trucks are going to have to turn around. Well, hopefully having this sort of one-way flow of traffic will prevent a lot of backup here as they'll be able to just quickly come in, merge here, and I don't think the light will change really unless we have cars wanting to make a left-hand turn in here, which I don't think would ever happen to be the case because we don't have trucks running on this road anymore. And then all we have to do is switch around these terminals so that they're not all coming are the same thing and we should see this really clear up in terms of traffic so we'll let this sort of continue working itself out 
it does seem to be getting better. But it's just some of these platforms had a lot of trucks waiting, so those are going to end up blocking the other traffic that needs to come through. So now I'm coming back over to the cargo hub. If we look here, we can see a lot of our food and tools are no longer really waiting that much. And we're bringing in full loads of both over to Mesquite. And now we just need the hope that these trucks are able to handle it as we don't have too long until another load comes in, but this boat's only for fuel and there's not really any here at the moment. One thing I realized we forgot to do was to set up uh, a fuel line here. So once the fuel gets stopped here in clear water, it doesn't really have anywhere to get shipped out from. So we're going to need to come in here, configure this station. We'll need to add a new platform where it'll pick up the fuel. And then we can add some more buildings to hold the storage. And then we'll need to set up a new fuel line and figure out where best to drop it off at. So just from looking at this map, it appears there's quite a few spots that the fuel can go. There's this area down here and this area up here. And now unfortunately they don't really cross or mix. So we might have to set up two separate lines. So what we can do is put a truck stop here and then put another truck stop here, which will cover these down here. And then we'll just have to find the road depot, which I think we still use the one over in Alexandria. We'll get probably five fuel cars and we'll put them on a line from here to here and then we'll need to get four more or let's do five more. That'll go from the same truck stop over to here. So here are our trucks, they're a little stuck in traffic right now, but the one good thing is it seems a lot of the traffic out here in Alexandria seems to be much better than it was before. This main strip here you can see is flowing pretty nicely, there's not too much buildup. There's a little bit here with this merge, but other than that it's pretty good. Although, farther down between these two cities isn't doing too great. So we'll come in here. We will upgrade these roads here. And then turn the road connecting the two cities to a four lane road. Pretty much all the way into clear water if we can. We might have to cut it off here because we get errors and issues with this bridge. I think that'll be a uh, that'll be good for now. Traffic is definitely one thing we're gonna have to keep an eye on in future episodes coming up. So I think that's pretty much going to be it for this episode. We've upgraded a lot of our trains and productivity. And in the next episode, we will start to look at some of our traffic issues and maybe find out how we can start to alleviate some of that as our cities get really big. 
However, that's going to be all for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.